Hi everyone, welcome to Geek Decoders YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to compare this year's year-to-date profit versus last year's year-to-date profit for the same date of the last year. So with that, we can see whether the company is performing better to the year-to-date of this year compared to last year. So let's go to the tutorial and see how we can do this. This is the data source that I'm going to use today. So which contains sales person, sales item, sales value and sales date. So when it comes to sales date, we, we have data of 2021 and 2022. So those are the two uh, years that we are going to compare. Uh, now you have to create a new measurement here. First measure will be used to get the year to date uh, profit value for this year. Right. This year, year to date. profit and then it has to be I will take calculate function sum the sales value then I'll be using the filter table filter expression is sales date dot date should greater than date and then year value so I will say year Today, so that means today's uh, value, and then I need to give the month. Month should be, you know, this year we want. So then I will have one from January onwards, and day also January first, right? So from January first onward this year, all the sales date will sum. So this is to get the year-to-date profit for this year. Right, our formula has done now. Now I add a card visual. And add the measure that what we have created. So this is the sales value for this year. Now I have created another measure to calculate the profit value for the last year uh, to the same date as today, right? So for that I will write profit last year, year, year to date. For that, I'll be using same the calculate function. Calculate, I want to get the sum of sales value. And then I'd write the filter condition. First, I want to get the table of it, get a table, and then I need to write, so I drop down this field table to below alt enter, right? So here I will write field expression wise, I will write sales date dot 
date should be less than 2 so I need to give input year give two days that means this year right and then I will put minus one to give the last year and then month would be month so we want this month so I will give it today because we want to get the year to date value right and the day also I would give day I want today right so I think then it will give last year this month this date all the sales data before that right and this data is only contained last year and this year so this will work to get the last year sales data year-to-date value now I will add last year sales profit also to a card visual This is the value for the last year to this date, right? It's 26,000 K. So this year it will be 43. So we have a huge growth in profit for this year to this date. So now we'll see how we can automate this and show whether we are performing better or not compared to last year. Usually in any organization, uh, we set the uh, next year profit or next year value, target value usually 15% uh, more than the last year so we'll set it a new measure to set the target value create a new measure right so we write the measure target profit 22 would be I will get the sales last year plus multiplied by 15 divided by 100 now I set this uh, target profit value also to a card so it's 30.32 based on the last year's figure so we are as a company we are way ahead than that so now we create a small uh, color button to indicate whether we are performing better or not right so Let's see how we can do a small color code that we can add it to this one to show that we are performing better or not. I create a, another measure to get the target value. I'll write color if This year, year to date profit, if it's greater than the target value, then the color code should be green 00 00 FF 00. Right, hash value, and then I'll write if profit we can use else as well if you want 
or we'll write else else we say color code should be red if if four zeros now I add a card visual this is our indicator so each and every day this will be changed based on our sales value whether we are based on our performance right so and we'll set color to this one and then we'll do some small modification here so we'll go to uh, general tab effects based on the background we'll set it as field value and then our data sheet so based on the color this has to be changed right so as you can see now uh, we can remove category as well right so as you can see now so we can remove these things as well if you want the field value okay field value also we can set the color not the title called out value we can say based on the value we can say based on the color right so as you can see so based on the profit year-to-date profit Comparing to the last year profit, we set the target profit and based on that, we'll set a color value here, right? So this indicates that, okay, up to date, up to today, we are be performing better compared to last year based on the set value, right? So this is how we can create that sort of a measurement to see whether as a company we are performing better or not. So thanks for watching my video and hope this uh, helps for you to develop something in Power BI for your small uh, company or whatever that you would like to have. Thank you and please subscribe my channel for more Power BI videos.